Hi, this is Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. So who are you going to vote for? Me, I'm going to follow the money. It's like, uh, our voting, yeah, your friend of mine said this morning, said, he asked him, who are you going to vote for? He says, uh, you know, you look at the two of them, and every time I even think of the two, voting for one of them makes me kind of want to throw up a little bit, <laughs> which is yuck, you know, that's yuck. <laughs> So we don't have a lot of choices, do we? we? got one and two, bad one and bad two, right? So I personally am going to follow the money and, and what does Trump represent? Trump represents a goofy guy that um, I don't like that much and he's a money hoarder guy that's mean and do whatever it takes to get it. So if he represents some kind of those kind of people, I don't want to deal with that. So the other Warren Buffett guy, uh, he represents at least, you know, happy fuzzy a little bit, a little bit, um, in some honesty there. So um, I vote for War I'm Warren Buffett uh, Obama. <laughs> okay. Personally, I say nobody vote, but um, because uh, our choices aren't too great, but it is what it is, and everybody does have to vote because cause that's how our country is ran, right? <laughs> Um, it needs a shakedown. We were talking about it. It just needs a shakedown. What the shakedown needs to happen is they really need to, whoever goes into office, is take a look at the means of everybody. What are your means in, 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 in structure our society to get rid of this deficit that we have? What are your means? I mean, what are you doing? You're, you're on Social Security, um, getting Social Security, but you have millions of dollars. Um, and you structured it into a corporation so you show zero on your um, um, tax return as a personal person so you can get Social Security. That's the kind of thing that needs to be done. You know, whoever goes into office, I don't care if it's Obama and or Romney, the reality is this is their job. And maybe what they could do is go, let's look at the means and, and try to get rid of this deficit that we got going on. And um, look at everybody's tax returns and really take a good look of who, you know, who owns the corporations and look through there to see if they are collecting Social Security or, or whatever else they may be collecting that they really shouldn't have it. You know, it's kind of like looking in the eye and um, see if you're really being fair of the way our society runs. I mean, everybody is using the roads and the parks and, and our taxpayers paying dollars pays for those kind of things to keep the quality of life up, which is all wonderful. But when you have people taking Social Security that actually can afford not to and live off the money that they already have accomplished and have going on, well, then you don't need Social Security. Get off Social Security so the people who who need the health care and who need, really need, um, need what is offered in our society, then great. Then they, um, then they deserve it because they need to be taken care of. You know, some people need to be taken care of because of whatever reason, some people don't. And the people who don't need to step up, stand up and say, I do have the means to do this. I don't want to be taking more than, than I really should, and the other people should have, you know, share. <laughs> other people should have that that actually need it. You know, not everybody has the capabilities um, of one person that another person has, or focus or direction that another person has. And maybe that's why someone hell has so much other monies to, um, to, you know, live on. And while the other person who doesn't, maybe they made the wrong choices and or got hit by a car or and or um, whatever happened. There are things happen in life. Life as we know, it can flip you over in a minute. You know, it's, it's, it's that simple. So um, there you go. I thought that was a great idea. Um, so the, whoever goes into office, I hope who does go into office actually looks at the means of everybody and looks them square in the eye and says, are you on Social Security or Medicare and you can really pay for it yourself? And if you can, please do, because the people who really need it, need it, and then it'll reduce our deficit because we're not giving out money to you that you don't really need. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.